All right. How many of you all think you know how a frisbee works? You throw it, it flies. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> how many of you all think you know physically why it works? Two basic ideas: the gyroscope idea and the lean. Yeah. Idea, so can we lose? Yeah. Did you type that into Google? No, I just. Uh, Okay, yeah. If you type this into Google, everything that comes up, even if the people have no idea what they're talking about, and some of them unfortunately don't, but <laughs> they will say it's the it's like the, the wing idea, like he said, lift and your gyroscopic stability stability. Basically what your frisbee is is a flying gyroscope. So we'll talk with about the simple idea first, which is the wing. You all know how a wing works, yes? No? Yeah. Some of you? Okay, how does a wing work? Lift, okay, how do you make lift? You just air. throw an object through the air and it flies, right? It, it lifts itself. The air going over the top has to be at a different speed than the bottom. Yes. It'll leave faster. Yes, why? Because pressure. if you, you create a pressure differential or pressure is pointing it upward. Yeah. I don't remember the details, but... Yeah. No, that's exactly, it's, it's that easy. So, if you have something, <coughs> like an airplane wing, and you have the air coming in like this, the same amount of air has to move around the wing in both directions, yeah? If this is like your incident, your incoming stream. But this air has to move a farther distance than this one, so it has to move faster. But faster air is less dense than slow moving air, and so it generates lift. Lifting your plane up, and that's why we can fly places and go Mach 12 and things like that. Now, for your frisbee, it's a little bit different because when you throw a frisbee, normally, how do you throw it? Flick it. Okay, yeah, you can flick it, you can throw it this way, but how is it normally angled when you throw it? Level. Is it actually level when you throw it? No. Think about that for a second. It's angled upward, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and that's fine for a plane wing because you have a huge mass of extended objects that it's attached to. If you have a frisbee though, and you just throw it like this, what happens, here's your frisbee, is that your lift, instead of being acting from the center, actually acts off center from the front. But if it's not acting from the center, that's gonna apply a torque, right? Yes, no, maybe so, torque, familiar concept, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So, but what should happen to it if it's twisting? Go do this, right? Okay, why doesn't it do that when you throw a frisbee? Gyroscope. Yeah, it's a flying gyroscope. How do you, so, if you have an object spinning about an axis, axis, it's one axis, not axes. So, angular velocity, omega. That's an omega, not a w, sorry. What happens if, so, you have your pseudo vector representing angular velocity, right? And it doesn't actually point in the direction of velocity, it points up or down through the axis. <coughs> Does this sound familiar? Yeah, it's an axial vector. Okay, so we'll point it in this direction. What happens if you apply a torque or a force along another axis? Let's say this one. So what I'm asking is, what if you rotate the disc as it's spinning this way? Can you all visualize that? So, yeah, it's spinning like this, and you want to flip it this way. What's going to happen to it? It resists it because it it wants to keep its. Yeah, why? Inertia. Yes. It's yeah. got inertia in the Yeah. Conservation. Yes. Angle. And yeah. mathematically what we say is that it's a vector cross product, right? So you have, you have your two forces and they're acting perpendicular to each other. It creates a force perpendicular to both of them, right? So the easiest way I found to visualize this is you're riding your bike. You want to turn left. How do you turn your bike? You lean. You don't twist the bike, you lean. Why does that work? Why don't you just fall flat on your face? 
Why does your bike turn? Bikes are smart. No, it's the same idea. So you're rotating this way, right? And now our axis is pointed this way. You're spinning, you're spinning, you're spinning, you're spinning. You're going to apply this around this axis, right? You're twisting. So what your cross product wants to do is it wants to turn the wheel like that to balance it out. And then your bike turns, okay? Simple things you don't really think about. So your wheel actually has to turn. Just leaning is not enough. But you, you in intuitively realize that you leaning is going to make you turn, but it's because it changes the direction of your wheel. A frisbee is the same way. How many of you can actually throw a frisbee in a perfectly straight line every time? Any every of you? time. Any of you? More than half the time. No. Maybe in a vacuum. <laughs> it wouldn't, it's not, uh, no. <laughs> they say it's it would not be a fly, it's, like fly line. <laughs> it's just kind of chill, yeah, translate, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so barring you sitting in the space and just leaving your frisbee hovering there. I want to see this video from NASA now. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> what does it normally do? What happens to your frisbee? Yeah, it curves. So if I told you that the reason it curves is the same reason your bike tire turns, would you believe me? Yes. Could you explain it? Ish. Ish. Okay. What if... Here, we're going to draw another picture. So this is the top of your frisbee, right? Now, what we just said is that the lift acts off center, right? Okay. And you have your axis is this direction from the angular velocity, right? What do you notice about these two vectors? Yeah, we're not parallel. Your lift is going to have a perpendicular component, right? Compared to your axial vector. And since it has a perpendicular component, you can use your right hand rule if you really want to. But since it has a perpendicular component, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to make your flying gyroscope turn. Or what do you what do you call it when it's a top or a gyroscope and it does this? Process. Yeah. It's going to process one direction. Right? So when you want your frisbee to fly perfectly flat, what you actually need to do is you need to make sure that when you let go of it, it's not angled up at all, or it needs to level out. Because if it's angled up, you're always going to have some <coughs> component here that's perpendicular to your axial vector, and it's always going to make it want to twist one direction. Easy enough? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many of you all have thrown a frisbee like this, have flipped it? Which way does it normally turn? You're talking about outside. It was left, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on which hand right. you fly, so left, <laughs> yeah. if you were to do your left Yeah, if you're left hand, okay, your right hand. Across your body. That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're right handed, you do this. It goes to the like left, yeah. right? So this is your, you're spinning, right hand roll, it's up, right? Uh, Got it up, and then you have the. <laughs> Extra it component and it angles, angles and it, yeah, and this one it'll spin into the end of the board, right? Yeah, it'll spin off the direction, same direction it's rotating. Those angles work out because it's curved, right? Because yeah. what's curved? Well, you have the right angles there. Yeah, it's good. it's it's because frisbee's curved at the top. It's, that's the only way you can get the right angles to be there. Right? Is that why you put them like that? No. That's not why. No. Then how it could you get a right direction. angle? How can it be perpendicular to the surface unless you're saying that it's working on it the curve? It's not a right angle to the surface. It's not? It, no. No, 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 that's no, 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 that's no. a right it's, angle. It's a right angle to this. Sorry. Basically, you're torn <laughs> factors. It's a right angle to this. It's acting. To the sorry, I should have drawn that. It's a right, it's a right angle to the, motion the direction of the, yeah, the motion of it, the way it's flying. Sorry, it's I should have right drawn that. To the top I should have drawn that better. Yeah. And so, if you want to draw, so let's say, here we'll redo it. Here's the curved surface of your frisbee. This would be a really steep, they call it an angle of attack. This would be ridiculous. Don't throw your frisbee like this one, anyway. But, <laughs> well, we'll all just come back and yeah, it'll just, yeah. <laughs> so, here's the direction you're trying to get it to go. There's 
lift. There's your angular velocity. You see it now. Mm -hmm. And then you project it along it. If you project this vector along this, you're still going to have a perpendicular component. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So who wants to throw some frisbees? <laughs>